The lie that President Biden stole the 2020 presidential election, which led to the violent January 6th insurrection, is alive and well. A CBS investigation found that there are nearly 80 officials overseeing elections across seven battleground states who don't believe the 2020 election results or supported the actions of January 6th. Yeah, there's definitely a ranking system. It goes mental institution, insane asylum, <laughs> nut house, loony bin, Booby Hatch, RFK Jr. I want to talk about how the press always seems to miss the point. But they want to rig that just like they rigged the presidential election of 2020. They want to rig it. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. Now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. Yeah. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Oh, oh, stop it. Is that your Sorry. solution? Every poll. Oh. No, no, sit down. Sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. And they see this upside down flag hanging outside the Alito home. At this point, that flag had really become a symbol of the Stop the Steal campaign. And with an Oklahoma judge in court, but on the opposite side of the bench. He was there to face newly filed felony charges for allegedly shooting up his own brother-in-law's home. Take a look at this judge. He did a drive-by. Two of them. The alleged target, his own brother-in-law. We talked to him months after. I had no idea that it could have been Brian Lowe. Before we continue, like and subscribe, please. Like and subscribe, trying to make Texas blue again. It used to be blue until George W. Bush took over the state. So subscribe. We're going to make it happen. Now, this particular judge gets busted trying to kill his brother-in-law wait for it because of a road rage incident right down here in Austin. Kenneth Marcus says his son saw an unfamiliar car moments before bullets began flying. Seeing a person in a window and missing by a matter of inches is not just a random shooting. Months later, investigators say the judge was involved in a road rage shooting in Austin, Texas, and casings from that incident matched the ones used in the drive-by shooting. They've now matched up the bullets of the 40 cal. And guess what? This guy is a shooter. Are the Alitos insurrectionists who oppose the peaceful transfer of power? So now they got this mess about the upside down flag at Alito's house. <laughs> Clearly, he's a scum sucking piece of shit. But what the fuck are you talking about? And this leads to my new segment. John Stewart gave me the idea. Thank you, John. How dumb is you? This is either here nor there, a little sidebar. An upside down flag means distress. I didn't hear that spoken on one damn show. I don't know why they were talking about this. I don't know why I was listening. Or you can leverage your stature in government to get lucrative lobbying positions for your wife and your three kids, like Missouri Senator Roy Blunt. They all missed the point. This guy's crooked as hell. They're on the take, yo. I don't even understand why that would be a question. Everybody's family does something. My father was a corporate lobbyist. <laughs> like his father, his father before him. And, quite frankly, there's no laws that says they can't be on the tape. They get to make their own rules. The only rule is they have to tell us when they're on the tape. And he did not. If your last name wasn't Biden, do you think you would have been asked to be on the board of Burisma? I don't know. I don't know. Probably not. Holy shit. Out of all the senators and representatives who dodged and prevaricated and wouldn't answer any questions, you know you're in trouble when the most honest and transparent person in a story of government corruption is the ex-crackhead. And here is the challenge to Chief Justice Roberts. The United States Supreme Court's credibility is plummeted. All-time low. Completely. Lower than perhaps even the United States Congress, and that's saying something. Mm. 
perhaps the Supreme Court. Well, it will come as no surprise that the same guys who think it's fine to accept a luxury Winnebago from a wealthy businessman have made it much harder to police corruption. That are going to sheep the legacy of January 6th, the accountability for January 6th, former President Trump's scope of accountability. It may shape the future criminal trial if one takes place. This very narrow quid pro quo idea, you know, I'm going to give you kind of like a cartoonish sack of money in exchange for an actual vote. Whilst twirling my handlebar mustache. <laughs> they, they've taken over, man. <laughs> they've learned how to use tools. <laughs> it's a... It's Nightmare! My God, the only rule he's got to follow? Just like Thomas, just like Gorsuch. Hell, I'm about this far from saying that oh, Brett Kavanaugh might be the only one Republican appointed that's not a freaking crook. I don't think Roberts is a crook, but his wife makes about $10 million a year. Uh, using the fact that her husband is the chief justice of the Supreme Court to recruit lawyers for things such as the Heritage Foundation. But I digress. You mother I see this kind of crap a lot, but it's not just the press. It's with the Republicans. At every turn, our Congress and our courts have been given a choice. Be less corrupt or redefine what constitutes corruption and get on with your bad selves. So the press are mimicking them, I guess. For instance, how dumb is you, Ted Cruz? He is choking like a dog because he's losing so badly. We have to put him away tomorrow. You ever seen somebody who's really educated, but an idiot? That's Ted Cruz. This man is a pathological liar, a narcissist at a level I don't think this country's ever seen. I'm proud to have worked hand in hand with President Trump to repeal job killing regulations that were hammering the state of Texas. I think he's crazy. I honestly, I think he's crazy. Nobody has helped me more with all of the things that we're doing, including military and our vets. Then Senator Ted Cruz, nobody. Donald, you're a sniveling coward and leave Heidi the hell alone. So will you support him for the nomination? I'm gonna beat him for the nomination. He is not, not I am answering the question. Donald Trump will not be the nominee. He's leading right now. You're Donald Trump will not be the nominee. Coward. Will you support him as the nominee? Donald Trump will not be the nominee. In 2020, Donald Trump will be overwhelmingly re-elected as president of the United States. It's a game of reverse limbo. Having trouble getting under the bar of corruption we've set? Well, ooh. <laughs> This judge is of Mexican heritage. I'm building a wall, okay? I'm building a wall. I am gonna do very well with the Hispanics, the Mexicans. So everybody. no Mexican judge could ever be involved in a case well, that involves you? Uh, he's a member of a society where, you know, very pro-Mexico, and that's fine. It's all fine. But Except I think, that you're calling I think he heritage. should recuse himself. Jake, I'm building a wall, okay? I'm building a wall. I'm trying to keep business out of Mexico. Mexico's fine. There's nothing- But he's American, the Mexican, he's an American. Uh, he's of Mexican heritage, and he's very proud of it, as I am where I come from. It goes on trial. I sit there sleeping and farting. Then somehow, <laughs> and God knows how, it's good for my campaign. MAGA Mike Johnson? Ooh. I, just ooh. Why do parents need to put this into their home? Yeah, that's great. Great uh, question. We, we probably could have called this more appropriately a war on the darkness of technology, because there are some good things with technology, of course. I mean, you know, the Bible apps we all love, we, we broadcast our services, you know, on our social media, and, and there's some very positive things, but there's also, as Clint's pointed out happily, some really dark things. So Covenant Eyes is the software that I, I we've been using a long time in our household. Right. Uh, I was I first learned about it at, I think, a Promise Keepers event in the early 2000s. I think it was developed in about the year 2000. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's the largest um, accountability software that there is, and, and there's some paperwork out there. Covenant Eyes. Ugh. What is that? It just, ugh. It's a subscription based, and we don't make any money on this. I'm telling you, we use it, okay? I, I'm, not, I'm endorsing it because I'm a user. Uh, it's about $15 a month, $16 a month, something like that. And you get up to 10 devices. And what it is, it's accountability software. So uh, men in a church, you know, men. Bible study groups will do it. That's how it's presented at Promise Keepers. But they yeah. also mention, hey. Teenagers, especially if you have boys, dads, they're talking to the guys at this event. You might want to think about doing this with your son. Heck. Wait, what? I don't want to do it. Oh. Um, if it scans, you, you obviously opt into it, but it scans every, oh yeah, it's going to be on your phone, or your devices, your laptop, tablet, what have you. 
We do all of it. And then it sends a report to your accountability partner. I don't like this bit. My accountability partner right now is Jack, my son, right? I don't know if it's worse to have somebody at your Bible study looking over your shoulder on your phone or have your teenage son doing it. And so he's 17. So he and I get a report of all the things that are on our phones or all of our devices once a week. If anything objectionable comes up, your accountability partner gets an immediate notice. I'm proud to right. tell my son he's got a clean slate. All right, yeah. but... A report, and it says, hey, no, no uh, activity of concern. And it's really, really sensitive. It'll pick up almost anything. It looks for keywords, search terms, and also images. And it will send your accountability partner a blurred uh, picture of the image. Mega Mike, how dumb is you? And then I got indicted a second time and a third time and a fourth time. And a lot of people said that that's why the black people like me, because they have been hurt so badly and discriminated against. And they actually viewed me as I'm being discriminated against. Um, that he thinks so little of the black community that he can get our vote with, you know, giving us greater access to menthol cigarettes mm. and a nice pair of gold LeMay sneakers. The only way it could have been a more obvious scam is if they offered free boner pills with every donation. Even the sneaker thing. I was on social media last night. Very interesting. As you see, black support eroding from Joe Biden. This is connecting with black America. I think that people are talking about very strongly. Because they love sneakers. They're into sneakers. They love the, you know, this is a big deal, certainly in, in the inner city. So when you have Trump roll out his sneaker line, they're like, wait a minute, this is cool. He's reaching them on a level that defies and is above politics. The culture always trumps politics. And Trump understands culture like no politician I've ever seen. Dogs that have this kind of a problem, they are extremely dangerous and a responsible owner does what they need to do and what, this, what the law will allow. Not a lot of people I know of have gone out and executed their own dog. Who was her editor? Michael Vick? Facing intense backlash, South Dakota Governor Kristi Noem defending herself after bragging that two decades ago she shot her puppy named Cricket dead. Kristi Noem didn't just shoot her dog. Gnome says her puppy Cricket was untrainable, dangerous, and worthless as a hunting dog, according to excerpts obtained by The Guardian. I hated that dog, she writes. But then she went and got her goat because it had gone so well in the rock quarry that she should off the goat there too. Because he was nasty and mean, that the goat smelled disgusting, musky, rancid, and had knocked over her children in the past. We have a very special woman who's hot as a politician. She's, uh, she's uh, doing an incredible job in South Dakota. She's the governor, Christy Noem. Went on to explain how she didn't quite get it done because, you know, she can't handle a firearm and had to go back to her truck to get another shell because she can't kill a goat with a shotgun at point blank range. So, I guess she's done. How stupid is you? How yeah. utterly heartless do you have to be to shoot a 14-month-old dog in the face? I have from the very beginning. I'm not allowed to say it, so I will not. You know, you're not allowed to say she's beautiful, so I'm not going to say that. You can't just kill a dog because you're annoyed with it. I mean, if I killed every animal that annoyed me, I would be like the Genghis Khan of Christy Gnomes. It's not great, but it's not the worst online behavior by a former Trump associate. That title goes to Steve Bannon's OnlyFans. <laughs> now... <laughs> Currently looks like a guy selling exotic reptiles on the Venice Beach boardwalk. Bannon went on his damn you build the wall program crap and said, ha ha ha, we're keeping all the money and we're buying boats. And then the dude went out and used the money to buy a boat. How stupid is you? And as for Steve Bannon, it says, he formed a non-profit organization that he controlled. It received about a million dollars from this crowdfunding effort, some of which the Justice Department says he used to cover, and I'm quoting here now, hundreds of thousands of dollars in Bannon's personal expenses. The court documents basically say that this thing was pretty suspect from almost from the beginning. I'm gonna mainline some schadenfreude. Line that up on a mirror and give me a dollar bill to snort it with. Woo! She grossly miscalculated and took her political chances to the gravel pit. The powerful senator allegedly pressured the Department of Agriculture to help an associate maintain a monopoly on the importation of halal meat to the United States. But in what other country in the world can a Cuban-American senator work hand-in-hand -hand with an Egyptian-born businessman to corner the halal meat market? <laughs> 
The dude got caught with gold bars in his damn coat pockets. They looked up online what a kilo of gold is worth while they were in Egypt. Damn you, metric system! What's the matter with you? Living in America. Bob Menendez got caught doing his crimes just last year. <laughs> and he's already on trial. Funny how that works. Well, he's a Democrat. So, of course, the DOJ went after the president's own son. What the hell, man? I thought the DOJ was a shill for the Biden crime family. I love dogs, man. Uh, you don't shoot a dog, okay? It's the, really? And this is one guy? Got away with it. Got to fuck <laughs> up. Your wife didn't know shit. Everything went well. Got elected president. Could have just skated. But no. He had to screw the state of New York after a, out of a few dollars? A few dollars? That may land him in prison? How stupid is you? My God, man. My God. Of course, you know, this is the same guy who was about to pick Christy Nome to put her in charge in case, you know, a 79-year-old man drops dead. Huh. It's a game of reverse limbo. Having trouble getting under the bar of corruption we've set? Well... Ooh. How about now? When everything was going to crap for Christy Nome, she tried to clean it up by saying that she also shot three horses just a couple of weeks ago. How stupid is you? Congratulations to your puppy at home if he made it through the weekend alive, doing a lot better than... Christy Gnome's dog. This is f up. Well, I guess Trump always picks the best people. I'm Zachary Island, Charlotte Liberal. Y'all take it easy. You ran out of time? And please like and subscribe. Try to turn Texas blue. No, I've been sitting here for an hour and a half. I, I. Make Texas blue again. And get this shit show people gone. Should I go? Okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't negotiate, let's investigate, we'll accelerate.